stinking thinking or cognitive distortions are when we think something, but it's not really true. And sometimes our mind will go with that cognitive distortion, the stinking thinking, and take us down a really, really negative road. CBT is cognitive behavioral therapy. It's fairly simple. Our thoughts impact our feelings and our feelings impact our behaviors. We've charted it like a cycle because it doesn't always start with our thoughts. Sometimes it starts with a feeling, a feeling that might impact our behavior, which impacts our thought, or maybe it's a feeling that impacts our thought that impacts our behavior, but it is a cycle and they're all interconnected and how we respond to those thoughts can be how we can deal with them in a more balanced way. So what we want to do is examine the thought and see is it true? If it is, what can we do to change it? If it isn't true, then we don't give it credence. We let it go. CBT is not that power of positive thinking and merry sunshine and roses and flowers. Just think positive. And that's not what it's all about. It's about looking for realistic conceptions, more balanced thoughts. So when a thought pops in that may or may not be true, we take and we tease it apart and see, is it really true? If we can't really prove it, is it helpful for us emotionally to believe it? Sometimes we can disprove a thought and other times we cannot. Let me show you and give you a little example that I often share when I'm speaking with people. Stop and think how you would feel if you were out with a friend for a meal and you looked across the restaurant and there were a couple of other people uh, having a meal too and they look over at you and they say something to each other and they laugh. I wonder what your automatic thought would be. Most people will say, they're talking about us. They said something horrible could have been going on you know when I ask people that question generally the very last thing they think of and sometimes they don't even go there is that that couple could have been saying something totally wonderful about them but the negative voice sneaks in and it automatically goes to the negative we're hardwired to do that maybe to protect ourselves but what we do in CBT is catch that negative thought and we're not going to storm across the restaurant and ask them so it's much healthier for us for our mental fitness to choose to say they could have been looking behind me they might have been talking about something else or even better still maybe they thought it looked really cute CBT there will take us to the point where we can look at our thoughts and get them in a more balanced position. When we talk about CBT, sometimes it seems so simple. We think like, how can that possibly work? Well, it is simple. However, we have to remember that we're working on changing deep rooted patterns and that takes a lot of work. What we encourage people to do is to make small changes and celebrate them when we achieve them. That's what helps get the change process working. We have to keep working though, you know, it's not magic. We do work at it in order for the change to stick and there's something that will sometimes interfere with the change process and we have to keep forward wheels in motion or we may roll back to where we used to be and we don't want that we want to keep the wheels in motion so we have to keep aware of the CBT techniques and keep applying them and that's what will make those changes stick and to be long-standing When we're thinking about family members, I can think sometimes I'll, I'll watch people make a big change and they're being very successful in their therapy, but there's not that support. Although it's well intended, family members are all walking on age hills and watching and waiting because they think they're going to fail. We want to be able to support and empower our family members to continue with those changes and move forward and to trust them. I know when I was growing up, my mom used to have this old saying, and she would say, we train them and we trust them. And she would say that about her children. And it sort of empowered us to know that my mom believes in me. My mom knows that if I make this 
change that I'm going to be able to keep it going. So remember, trust them that they can make the changes and that shows them and empowers them. You can be their biggest cheerleader. Lots of ways that you can learn more about it and how to use it to your advantage. There's a really good book, Mind Over Mood, that we often recommend. It's a workbook um, by Greenberger and Podesky. Excellent resource. It's in a workbook format so that you're practicing CBT and using the strategies on a regular basis. Take care out there.